enthusiasts. It's rifle day. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about this all important spot on the rifle. And I'm doing it while wearing my lovely Spintronics rainbow shirt, which you can get your own. This is one of my favorite shirts and I absolutely love it. You can buy one. They're like right, like right down there. If you just kind of keep scroll a little bit, they should be right there. You can get one of these. You can get like mugs and magnets and stuff too with different Spintronics designs printed on it. Our logo is on everything too. So, so I get asked a lot, what the heck is that random black piece of tape on the back of the rifle for? Um, well, this is called a spot tape, and what you do is you use that to see the rifle when it's in the air. Most color guards perform in high school gymnasiums, which tend to have white ceilings, and white rifles up against a white ceiling kind of disappear. I said most color guards. I should have said most winter guards because most color guards perform outside. But you get the same sort of issue because a lot of times the sky is really bright and it's hard to see a white rifle in the bright sky and therefore that's why you want this. So this piece of tape here will help you to spot your rifle whenever you're throwing it up into the air and so you can know exactly what to look for when to catch it. If you were to put a piece of tape out here, you'll notice that it kind of creates this big circle. And then if you were to put a piece of tape closer to the middle though, which is where this is located, it's gonna have a little spot. It's just gonna be one little spot, which is why it's called a spot tape. And that's gonna be what you stare at as it goes up and then comes back down. Um, some people will even use this for counting. I tend to use the butt for counting, but that's just me. And then you always want your spot tape to be on the side that is facing you when you are in a flat position. So if I'm gonna write flat, my spot tape is facing me, the audience cannot see it. Now that doesn't mean you're completely hiding it because you can do any sort of like moves and then like your tape is facing the audience. But I mean, it just looks cleaner when you're all standing in a flat position together and you have your spot tapes toward you instead of out. However, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put another spot tape on my rifle so you can see it on the outside as well. Now, I don't like to go much bigger than just like three or four inches or so, and then I place it directly underneath the center of my bolt so that's not quite centered. And then that's gonna be my spin spot. So, it doesn't do a whole lot when you're spinning like normal consecutive spins because you are spinning it around the neck and you want it to be off balance when you toss and spin it in the air, that you'll really see the spin spot go up and down. Now what I'm gonna do is put a piece of tape out here on the nose, and then I'm gonna let you compare that to see what it looks like whenever you have a piece of tape that is away from the center, from that spin spot. And I have a helper. And now with this being near the nose, and if you put one on the butt, it would do the same thing. You'll notice that it, it spins around with the gun. So you can kind of see how this going around creates more of a big black circle in the air. And I'm hoping that the video is gonna sort of accentuate that, the fact that it makes that circle versus the center one, making just a spot that you can follow straight up and straight down with your eye and know exactly where to put your hands to catch it as it comes back down. Guys, thanks for watching. I really enjoy making videos for you. So make sure that you like and share this video because it's gonna help out everybody when you do that. It helps out our team, it helps out me, it helps you guys all keep getting better at Color Guard. Plus Color Guard is always so much more fun when you do it on a team.